Let's add a custom enchantment to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're back in Italian Owens more and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom enchantment over here and it's going to be very interesting indeed because in 1.21 and above, enchantments have completely changed because they are now also all, well, I mean, number one, data generable, which is, what we're going to use we're going to use data gen to generate it and of course they're all json file based but not to worry because there is actually a couple of things that we still have to do in code and of course we're going to use data gen so there we go so in our tutorial mod package we're going to right click new package called enchantment and instead of there we'll need three new java classes the first one is the mod enchantments class the second one is going to be the mod enchantment effects class and the last one is going to go under enchantments, a new package called custom. And then inside of there, another new Java class called the lightning light, ning under, not, not underscore, lightning striker enchantment effect. There we go. A crazy class name here, but that is going to be okay. And this is actually also the class we're going to start with because this is going to implement the effect that gets called or the method that gets called when the particular enchantment is, I don't want to say used, but basically when there is a trigger for the enchantment, then this particular effect gets called. This is going to be a record, so we're going to change this to a record, then simply add the parentheses right here, and it's going to implement the enchantment entity effect interface over here. Let's hover over this and implement the two methods, and then there we go. The first thing we want to do is we want to add a public static final map codec, so there's going to be a map codec of type lightning striker enchantment effect i'm going to call this the codec equal to the map codec dot unit method passing in lightning striker entity uh, enchantment effect colon colon new there we go i also highly recommend you check out the code in the description below and then you should be good to go in the codec method over here we're simply going to return the codec and then in the apply method well this is the method that gets called when this particular effect gets instantiated so to speak so what we're going to say is if p enchantment level is equal to one right so if the enchantment level is one then we want to spawn one lightning bolt so entity type dot lightning bolt spawn passing in p level passing in p entity dot get on pause and then the spawn type here is going to be triggered so the idea is that the on the position that the entity that we've targeted is at that is when the lightning spawn uh, right lightning bolt will spawn and if the enchantment level is one we're going to spawn in one of them and we're sim simply going to duplicate this and then spawn two of them if the enchantment level is two with this done the entire class is actually done and we can move on to the enchantment effects class where we're going to register this now to register this what we need is of course a public static final what is it yes a deferred register of type map codec of type question mark which extends the enchantment entity effect entity effect there we go it's going to be the entity underscore enchantment enchantment underscore effects there we go equal to a deferred register dot create registries dot enchantment entity effect type passing in tutorial mod mod ID as a second parameter and of course when you have a deferred register you also have a public static void register method with an i event bus over here and we're going to call entity enchantment effects that register passing in that event bus and then let's immediately call this in the tutorial mod class over here in the constructor so mod enchantment effects that register passing in the mod event bus and there we go having done this we can then simply register our custom effect over here right so there's going to be a public static final registry object of type map codec of type question mark which extends the enchantment entity effect it's going to be our lightning underscore striker equal to entity enchantment effects that register the name is going to be lightning underscore striker and the second parameter is literally just going to be a supplier of lightning striker enchantment effect that codec and there we go that's all we need to do to register our custom effect over here i also highly recommend in the enchantment entity effects you can control left click on this and control h to see different you know entity effects that already exist inside of vanilla highly highly recommended to take a look at any or all of those it is a very, very good idea to 
I mean, basically just take a look at vanilla in any time you can, especially with effects, how they work. This is also basically one of the ways that I figured out exactly how to do this. So there you go. And then in the mod enchantments right here, what we're going to have is we're going to have a helper method. I'm going to copy this over very straightforward. This is just going to be a register method with a bootstrap context. And in theory, as soon as you see the bootstrap context, you should always be thinking, wait a second, this is data gen. And it is exactly right, because what we're going to have is we're going to have a resource key. So it's going to be a public static final resource key of type enchantment. It's going to be the lightning, un lightning underscore striker equal to resource key dot create registries dot enchantment. And then we're going to have a resource location from namespace and path tutorial mod on mod ID. And there's going to be lightning underscore striker. And there we go. There's going to be the resource key done. And then we're going to have a public static void bootstrap method, which is going to be having a bootstrap context of type enchantment. I'm going to call this the context. This is once again, always going to be the same for any type of basically class that gets basically that generates anything for JSON files, right? Via data gen, any like data JSON files. This is always going to look like this. Here, we're going to need two vars because we need enchantments to, we need a way to get the enchantments over here. It's going to be done with context.lookup registries.enchantment, basically allowing us to reference enchantments. And we also want to reference items. So context lookup registries.item. There we go. And then we can call the register method here, passing in the context, passing in the lightning striker resource location or the resource key rather. And then enchantment.enchantment passing in enchantment that definition and then it gets very interesting the definition over here creates a enchantment definition and we can actually take a look at this and see the first thing here is a is basically a list or a holder set in this case of supported items we then have primary items we can define a weight as well as a max level the minimum and the maximum cost and then an anvil cost over here as well as these slots so we're going to add exactly this first of all items that get or throw item tags dot this is going to be the weapon enchantable actually here for the first one then we're going to do items get or throw this is going to be get or throw actually item tags this is going to be the sword enchantable as a supported ones right so once again the first one here is the supported the second one is the primary so any weapon can be enchanted with us however the swords are the ones that are supported then the weight is five max level is two then we're going to have an enchantment of dynamic cost Minimum is going to be five, and then like let's say per level is eight, something like that. We're going to have another dynamic cost with a base of 25, and maybe an eight here again, and then a anvil over here, and lastly, the equipment slot group of main hand. Very important when it comes to any of the numbers, except maybe the max level here. Always, I recommend always just play around with the numbers, like balancing is always going to be the thing that you have to do at the very end anyway, so I highly recommend you just play around with them and see what you can get. After the second closing parenthesis, we're going to call the exclusive with. There's going to be enchantments dot get or throw enchantment tags, enchantment tags dot damage exclusive. So the idea is that some enchantments are exclusive with other enchantments, and some some enchantments can only be gotten, and then other enchantments can't be. This is basically how you define it. Highly recommended to also simply check out, like let's say for example the I don't know, mining exclusive or something like that. Where is this at? Right, silk touch. Yes, okay. If you have that. There's also the Fortune. I believe those are sort of exclusive with each other. So there you go. Highly recommend you just check this out and see what you can find. Anyway, after the exclusive, we then have with effect. This is the most important method that we want to call because here we want to define that the enchantment effect component, enchantment effect components is post attack. We're going to define an, the attacker here as a target, then the victim as the target, and then we're going to make a new lightning striker enchantment effect. And all of a sudden, our custom effect has been added as a post attack over here. Is this vastly more complicated than it has been before? Absolutely. But that is simply what we have to deal with. So once we have this, I highly recommend once again, go to the description down below in the GitHub repository. All of the code is available there. Then what we can do is we can go to the data gen to our data pack entries over here. And we can simply add this right here. So add registries.enchantment mod enchantments colon colon bootstrap that is number one and then number two we want to go down to our assets folder and this is where we want to add a translation the translation is very straightforward enchantment tutorial mod lightnings underscore striker and then here it just adds the like the numbers one two and so on if we have multiple levels that is added automatically 
Now, one last thing we want to do is we want to go resources data Minecraft tags inside there a new directory called enchantment and then inside there another new file which is going to be the in underscore enchanting underscore table dot json extremely important that we have this otherwise our custom enchantment which is going to look kind of like this right is not going to show up in the enchanting table so, and if we want this and usually we do then of course we need to add this particular tag very very important but with all of this done, what we can do is we can simply run the data gen over here. We're going to then see the JSON file. Like I said, you could, in theory, also create that JSON file manually. But usually, you will see why this is not necessarily recommended. Because the JSON file itself is quite complicated. So that is why I basically don't really recommend doing it. But let's just let this run through. And then we can see the JSON file once it is generated. And there we go. One new file. And we can see under tutorial mod enchantment, we have the lightning underscore striker JSON file. And this is the JSON file itself. Like I said, you know, absolutely, this could also be done manually. But overall, I just think that this is totally fine. The amount of work is not that crazy. And overall, it is totally okay. With this done, though, what we can do is simply run the client. And let's see if it works. All right, finally, back in Minecraft. And let's just see if we can find our different enchantment here. Of course, this might take a while because it is all random. So, you know, it might take a little bit longer than you might expect. But I would say that, you know, if you go through... There we go, actually, Lightning Striker 1. If you go through, like, half an inventory of swords, if you put the weight up high enough, it would be very strange if it didn't appear. You can also double check that the Lightning Striker has enchanted books generated for it. That should happen automatically. And then once we have this, the Lightning Striker 1 enchantment over here, then, well, it is time to say goodbye. And there we go. That is a custom enchantment added to Minecraft. Absolutely freaking fantastic. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about a custom crop block. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.